So in other words, they have got me a renewal every two years to be a site manager when in Kenya. And I think I'm going to manage the site. Site, I'm going to do the site. I'm going to manage the site. Because you see, we have to categorize this thing. When is the Kubari, my name? When you categorize Zupo, yes, to Nangaria Kamai. I mean, we give a guy about what Bami, who has how many Kenyans can manage a construction site. Alafu, Munapea Mutu Kuanto, and any what Bami, Kuja Kua site manager, site manager of construction, how many Kenyans took on a Kenyan to work under the green eye. Sasa wewe Bana, we go up at 2013, because you are going to manage construction site. What do you want to do? I don't know. 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 Just a way, way. Let me ask you a question. You cannot get a Kenyan who can manage your site. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is not right. You don't know. Yeah. So. These things really annoy me. Let me tell you that. These things really annoy me. We cannot what you know, this is what we must put out of our country. I'm telling you generally. He, he keep to me a bana kubari. Where is that fellow? Who would say here? Where? Yes, sir. These are things I want you to look at. Watch him Jesu Bana. Me, I don't like these kind of things. Yes, sir. Where how many Kenyans can work at construction site? To do my bear mwindi could work for me to put a manage site. Excuse me. We are not in these jobs to be popular. We are here to do the right thing, and I will do the right thing. We must sort this thing out. Honorable members, Upper Lazima to Kubaliana, we have to sort this thing out. So, Golosh, I am sorting it out. That's what we are trying to do. I wish this gentleman was cooperative in the manner in which the facts are clear to him. And as I told you, Mr. Chairman, I will bring the file to you so that you peruse it yourself and see what we are talking about. It is not right that when we are trying to make a genuine effort, we are being called lots of impunity that we are making the wrong mistakes and so on and so forth. None of these, even our colleagues in the media who are reporting this matter, none of them has gone through the facts that we are putting before them. None of them has asked the very basic questions. Questions we will answer. But you see, to create campaign jargon, you know, this, this story of you must look for a way of creating some level of sympathy so that people can sympathize with you, that you, you are an underdog. So you create some phantom, some fictitious devils that are existent somewhere that are against you and these devils are not described so you use some communist type language and call them deep state and say you know these people they may be having the state but we have God God is for all of us, you can't have God yourself so Bishop forget about this thing my brother let's just go forward and build our country, this doesn't exist Secondly, secondly, and that's why I say thank you for asking me this question, because I never, never get this opportunity to respond to these things. <laughs> so I tell you what I think. I mean, if I wasn't before religious be, uh, leaders, I would have even used a stronger language. <laughs> because this is petty, it's empty, there's nothing, it's hollow. People are just loitering around saying things that don't exist. Let them deal with issues. You know, I keep telling people, these elections are like an interview. You leaders have conducted interviews before, haven't you? Yes. So when I come before you, you tell me, eh, Fred, good, you want this job, yes. Where have you been? I tell you, I was headmaster there, I was this. They ask, you ask me, what did you do when you were there? How did you handle the students? What did happen? And so on. People are running around here who have held public responsibilities. They are not accounting for what they did when they were holding those public responses. You are the religious leaders. The story of talents in the New Testament. What did you do with the ones I gave you first before you come for more? <laughs> now, now, yeah. Now they are lying. Yeah. They are moving around and saying, oh, you know me. As you know, please sympathize with me. There is a certain dark group of people. Everybody, you can actually sell poison in this country because all you need is to go to court and get a court order and put it on your door and sell poison in this country. 
and, and no one says, let, let go, go serve them peers, let us listen, let us hear the two of you so that we understand what the truth is. That's what I'm saying, it's a clique of judicial officers. It's not about the judicial. Now, as Minister for Education, and we were dealing with these cases of, uh, you know, leaders who present subject uh, certificates that are fake and so on. One time, in a past election, a leader turned up with uh, a certificate of attending uh, a crusade, which was written in some language from South America. And because of the hurry, they allowed the fellow to go and run for an election. So later on, when someone with linguistic competencies from that area was found, they said, okay, look at this. Uh, this is supposed to be a master's degree. They said, no. This is actually, in the language when you translate it, it is certificate of attending a crusade. First of all, very, very sincerely, uh, convey my heartfelt condolences. It is very painful and sad what happened uh, to our son. Uh, I am really sad and I mean, I wish I was at home, I would be there with you at this particular point in time because uh, this is someone I know and I, I can feel how the parents are feeling at this time and now all of you are feeling. I'm very, very, very sad. But I stand with you and uh, this is the time where our faith must mean something. Let's uh, pray for strength and comfort from the Lord. Amen. Amen. We miss you. And above, up and above that, uh, you know, let us commit the parents and the family to the Lord that the Lord may comfort them at this very dark and very trying time. And that we stand together. And, and uh, for us, the most important thing is the legacy that our son has left behind. Uh, straightforward, very committed, and uh, hardworking in his service to the Lord. Amen. That said, uh, I want you to know that I have heard you. I, I have received all messages and I've uh, been seeing what's going on. I have heard you. I, I listened very carefully. I have heard you. And you are prayerful people. You are people of faith. Let us all now uh, uh, pray to the Lord and commit ourselves that the Lord may continue to guide us. And... Uh, uh, help us move forward, especially ensure that our country remains stable and peaceful, especially at this point in time. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Fred. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our president.